Hey everybody, as you can see I have finished making the actual cylinder jackets out of steel and I just made them and test fit them last night Now I need to take them off and round the edges a little bit, deburr them, prime and paint them. Let's see if I can roll underneath. You can see the underneath view and here's the one on the opposite side on the inside there and there's the outside. They went together pretty straightforward all the time that I spent with the paper template and the aluminum template. That was all time well spent basically. And uh, it's, uh, it's, I actually ended up using steel. Pardon the camera work as I stood up there. I'll show you some of the equipment. There's the templates, <clears throat> the original paper one, cardboard, and then the aluminum one to, to actually get the feel for the metal bins. Here's the tin snips I used to cut them out. Let me see. Yeah, it's 26 gauge plated steel. I got that either at Lowe's or Home Depot. Went ahead and decided to use the steel. The brass that Fred had was a lot thicker than that and probably wouldn't have been a good fit for that application. So for right now I went ahead and used that steel. I had that left over from a different project and it seems like a like it it bent pretty good and seems pretty sturdy, pretty durable. I don't think it's gonna dent very easily. And let's see, I wanted to show one more thing here, pardon the panning camera work. This is the device. If you don't have one of these you can get these on sale from Harbor Freight. It's a hole punch. That's what I use to punch the holes in the sheet metal. And man oh man, this thing is very convenient. Um, rather than drilling, drilling sheet metal is kind of a pain. And if you can pop the holes in with that thing, it makes nice clean holes. And it's very, as I said, very convenient. Made quick work of the job. <clears throat> Excuse me. So the next steps now, now that I've got them made, I need to remove them and then soften the edges. This steel, the only bad thing about it is, well, two bad things. Obviously, it can rust, number one, and number two is that it's um, very, very sharp. So I need to deburr and round all the edges so I don't cut myself down the road with that. But pretty pleased with the way they came out in general and um, looking forward to getting them painted up and so I can move on with the rest of the locomotive project. So there's today's update. I hope that's helpful. And oh, one thing I was going to say, I did. I went ahead and disconnected the arms for the um, the cylinder cocks. They were in the way, obviously. And I just put the arms over here. That's they're just made of that thin brass stuff, so it's just laying there. A lot easier to take them out and not risk damaging them. Alrighty, thanks for watching. I'll keep you posted.